Hi there, bonjour. My name is Michelle Chaput, and I'm the Director of Research and Education with Canadian Geographic Education, a nonprofit educational committee of Canadian Geographic magazine and its publisher, the Royal Canadian Geographical Society. We are based out of Ottawa, Ontario, and our offices are located on the unceded territory of the Algonquin peoples. And in my day-to-day -day job, I work with a talented team of educators, editors, researchers, and storytellers with the objective of sharing free bilingual curriculum connected learning resources with kindergarten to grade 12 teachers all across Canada. And a big component of that work involves the use of cartography for virtual learning purposes, but also to build a sense of connection and community within our network of geography teachers and their students. And some of our favorite tools to use for this are StoryMap. At Kangeo Education, we have the privilege of working with many different organizations who share a similar mandate of making Canada better known to Canadians and the world through storytelling. And quite often, the projects that we work on are comprehensive. They have audiovisual assets and interactive components that need to be organized in a way that really promotes learning. And our projects always have a cartographic component because maps, quite simply, are a beautiful tool with which you can tell a story. So we've begun using story maps more often than not because of the way that they can take learners on a captivating journey from a story start to finish. They work with just about any subject matter and they accommodate the different core learning styles of students in the classroom. We have an important birthday coming up in 2029 when the Royal Canadian Geographical Society uh, celebrates its 100th anniversary. And as part of our celebrations, our team has identified five new strategic priorities that will be the foundation of all of our projects and partnerships and resources as we move towards that anniversary. And so these are encouraging lifelong learning, supporting a healthier planet, cultivating diversity, inclusion, and belonging, advancing truth and reconciliation, and celebrating discovery and exploration. And these just happen to be excellent themes on which you can base a story map. Let me show you what I mean. A perfect example of an opportunity for lifelong learning using story maps comes from our Treaties and Agreements in Canada story map, which is all about people in Canada living together on the land traditionally occupied by Indigenous peoples. You can head to the chapter on the script system, for example, to watch a Canadian Geographic Geo Minute about the history of what is now known as Manitoba. And you can use a series of maps to understand past and present land disputes, all while kind of getting the feeling of sitting in the tall grasses of the Great Plains. Our story map about our collective connection to water is a great tool that emphasizes the importance of respecting and preserving water sources and aquatic ecosystems. You can take a look at our current water needs in North America, as well as ongoing drinking water advisories. And you can also pull inspiration to take action from teachers and water walkers uh, currently working to protect the Great Lakes. And in support of ongoing truth and reconciliation with Indigenous peoples in Canada and the revitalization of Indigenous languages currently under threat, we developed the original place names in Arctic Lands story map, where students can learn uh, Inuit community names, they can dive deeper with embedded activities, they can read along with quotes and first-hand accounts from elders and language specialists, and they can also um, use a map to understand the sort of geographical reasoning behind some of these community names. And we've even used an ArcGIS hub to organize some of our history and social science focused story maps into one comprehensive library, which also has video recordings and uh, lesson plans for teachers. So how cool is that? Sometimes when we have a really successful program going and we find ourselves in need of a product that really rounds out the program, we turn to story maps. 
At the moment, we are in partnership with Parks Canada and Exploring by the Seat of Your Pants on a program called the Cross Canada Virtual Road Trip. This is a free virtual field trip series with guest speakers that's built essentially like a road trip across the country and to help classrooms familiarize themselves with the unique features and histories of each of these locations, we put together a story map that explores each destination in detail. So for example, if we head to the Pingo Canadian Landmark, um, students can learn the basic geography of the site. They can immerse themselves in stories from the land. They can watch video shorts that are supplied by Parks Canada. They can learn how pingos grow. And they can also play a game of spot the pingo. The feedback we have received from teachers and students is really what's been inspiring us to continue to make more. I know elementary, secondary, and post-secondary educators who love to use these tools in their classrooms because of the power of digital storytelling and a well-crafted resource that incorporates audio, video, text, photos, maps, and everything in between. The Royal Canadian Geographical Society has a college of fellows of over 1,000 talented individuals who are experts on all things geography, um, and we really hope to give a stronger voice to them in the future. So I'm thinking, wouldn't it be neat to profile these experts in similar academic fields, for example, using story maps that highlight not only their personal journey, but also their research and their accomplishments? I think that would be really interesting. Uh, but we're also hoping to collaborate with our friends at ESRI Canada on Train the Trainer workshops for educators who are interested in maximizing the use of these resources in their classrooms. So this isn't the last that you'll be hearing from me. Uh, so I just wanted to say thank you very much for your time today and visit canjueducation.ca to learn more about our resources.